water. Don't even worry about it. I'll just turn the boat. Corner. We are in some some substantial marks here, and Wes is Wes is hooked up. Perfect. You won't need to walk back. Just a little bit more. Oh yeah. Man, they fight. Nice. Awesome. Nice job, huh? Way to go, Wes. Good deal. Yeah. Tell me that fish didn't choke it down. Oh, yeah. Gucci anywhere? No, gone. Very cool. Nice job, Wes. So, now this is a one year old. You know, they planted him last year about four inches long or so. So he's about, you know, 12, 13 inches long. So it's just a one year old. We're hopefully, we'll get some bigger ones today. But these are great table fare. Yeah. They're nice and orange. We're super scrappy. Got our first one, and we'll see if we can get some more. These, these are great. This is what people come for. Just a little king, you no know, forked tail. You can always tell he's a king instead of a rainbow. By the zigzags on the, yep. on the dots, you know, they're not round dots on them. Black on the gums, on the inside. Forked tail, no scales all over him. <laughs> he's, he's still trying to get away, huh? Wes got him, said no way. Lucy right. says, keep that thing away from me. <laughs> <laughs> look, at this, look at the screen. Yeah. Got that fish. Wow. Tell me that the fish fighter ain't telling us there's some fish there, huh? Ooh, there's a jumbo one right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. All right. Second fish same, of the day. Same thing. Just enjoy them, and then when he gets close, I'll turn the boat out away from the riggers and the other line. Got a little more fight in him. A little more kick to him. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right there, Alright, alright. That's what you want, huh? Fat one. Hey, way to go, huh? Good morning. Nice fish. Right. Look at that one, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, that's a three-year-old there. Yeah. 19 inches, I'd say. Maybe 20 on that one. Mm -hmm. So both, although we're it's seeing a... fish at 25 slash to the bait, our riggers are at 35. That's an ocean keeper there. <laughs> just that about. On spelt he just kicked out. All right. So one thing about these Lake Kings, I mean, this beautiful fish is you know, what 19 inches or so. You know that we get out of Orville or any of the lakes. The water is kind of warm. So immediately after you catch them, what you want to do is you want to have some ice on board if you can, or something cool. I have an ice chest here, just specifically. Specifically, I was to say that word three times fast. Uh, specifically for the salmon. Then I drop them in there, but make sure you reach in and you rip out a gill, mm -hmm. okay? Or you take a pair of scissors or whatever. What that does is that bleeds that fish out. See all that blood coming out of there? Right. Like that? All that blood comes out of there. That meat stays just nice and fresh. That's perfect. Well, if you're gonna catch big salmon like that, I think you need a bigger cooler. We'll have to get a bigger cooler. <laughs> we'll have to get a bigger boat, made it. <laughs> so, nice job. When people tell me they struggle catching landlocked kings, it usually means they're overthinking their presentation. These are just like ocean fish. They're out here, they're feeding on big balls of bait. In this case, at Oroville, they're feeding on pond smelt. So you want to give them a very simple, very impressionistic um, offering. What we're using today, we're just using some simple tubes and hoochies. Stick with the light colors. The minnows they're eating are silver and white and we're running out behind six inch dodgers. When this runs through the water, the dodger sounds and looks like a salmon feeding. That attracts salmon. They see the hoochie, that's what they expect to see. They expect to see a bait fish and it's fish on. As simple as that. These fish will hit plug cut anchovies, um, they'll hit spoons, but just about the best thing you can use is a plain old hoochie behind a dodger. It, uh, it works, it's been working for a long time. So, you know, don't reinvent the wheel. Keep it simple, put this near the marks on your sonar screen, and you're gonna hook fish. It's as simple as that. So to rig this too, sometimes I like to, you know, have a snell hook like that and a little shovel on there. Everyone does it their own way. Right, right, right. But that's how I kind of like to do okay. it. And then to rig the tube, you take your needle, and I've got it looped on the end already. So you take your loop, put it through there, like so. And then just pull that tube right on through there. Kind of try not to try not to pull the legs up in there because they get all hung up in the line. We're making the trip. We got lines out, we're catching fish, we're rigging rods. That's, That's right. It. That's the way to do it. Those upper rods aren't getting bit at all. So you kind of pull it through like so. 
and then it's like slide it down nice and slow so the legs don't get hung up in there. Now there's these tubes are great. I really like these new tubes. You just kind of slide that single back in there in between the legs. And then you get your bait to hang like so. He bites onto that. Oh, you, you, you got it. Yeah. You know, you got it. That's yeah. that's what you want. And that's the object of this game. You know, hook them and get them. So cool. I like that. And then just snap it right into your dodger. We will be ready to go. All right. Wow. Oh, he jumped. Jumper, jumper, huh? He jumped. I go ahead and jump. Yeah. See what it is. We just big a little white tube. Like, they like those little white tubes, yep. huh? Beautiful Foot, fish. Football fish. Yep. Scales all over. Nice little king. Got him. Wiggling. Here we are, West Ward, fishing in a restricted area. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. We like that. Yeah, we don't want to press the button. That might be the jackpot. You never know. Fighting hard. Fighting good, huh? Jeez. Stand down like a big one. Oh, it is a big one. Oh, nice. Yes, it is. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Lift up nice and slow. Oh, oh. oh. He's not ready yet. Oh, we'll get him this way. Straight up. Oh, okay. I got it. Oh, yeah. Woo! One, nice. Huh? That's a walk off. That's oh, a whopper that there. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Yeah. Wow. That's fantastic, Kevin. Wow. Let shine on that one, huh? Yeah. That's a three year old. So here are some of the baits we've been using today. We've been using these two baits um, from the BioBait company. They're a very unique bait. Um, they're infused with fish oil. They're 100% biodegradable. They're made from plant protein of all things. They're intended for bass and panfish, but as you can see, they work great on salmon. They work great on trout. Anything that eats a minnow will eat these baits. They're very soft, they're very pliable. They don't dry out in the sun. Um, actually, if you put them out in the sun, they get more juicy, they get softer, they work even better. So there's a lot of advantages to using these baits. They're made in Colorado, um, fully American made, fully biodegradable, as I said. And uh, I think they're gonna be a dynamite bait out here in the West for trout, salmon, mackinaw, stuff like that. That's the tube we were getting them on today. Just a small white tube behind a Dodger. Anyway, results speak for themselves. Wow, he's heavy. Hey, that was on the tube. Oh, that's on that tube. That's on the tube. It's on the special bait. Yeah, nice. nice and tight. He's coming out that 18 pounder. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh go. <laughs> That's a rainbow. That's exactly what that is. That's a big rainbow. Oh, waiting for you to say yeah. that. That's why he jumped. He fought yeah. so good. Remember how we talked about the spots earlier? Wow. You the, know? He got that two way inside oh, his mouth. He choked that thing. What a beautiful rainbow. Wow. Yeah. That's my first Oroville rainbow. I've never caught one here. Very, very few. Look at it. Did he eat that thing down? Yeah, or he what? did. See how the spots are just small? Just yeah. Little dots? Yep. Right very nice. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Beautiful fish. 
fish. Yeah. Way to go, jumper! Out there. Awesome. Way to go, huh? <laughs> Very cool. That's like a walk-off yeah. homer and a half. Absolutely. Watch out, Lucy. I got it. <laughs> yeah, no, he's fine. Let's let him go. Let's see. Let's put him in here. Yeah. Put him in the rubber net. Let's see. We squeezed on him pretty good. He fought there pretty good. We'll see. The key thing about when if you're gonna let fish go, especially in a lake, is take your time. Don't just throw him overboard, and make sure he's make sure he's upright and going. I'll sit him in there for a little bit because the water's kind of warm. He wasn't hooked. He wasn't hooked down in the gill. No. You know, so he's ble he's not bleeding. If they're bleeding, you gotta you gotta keep them. You know. Let's see if he kicks over at all. Well, he'll either go back or he'll go into smoke. Well, either way. This is how we do with our big steelhead. Oh, there he goes. There he's he gonna, goes. He's yes. going to be fine. See that? Sweet. Woke up and gone. Yeah, hey, awesome. He'll off to fight another day. Huh? Fantastic. Yeah, very very cool. good, man. But instead of just throwing him overboard real fast, let him get their bearings, kind of hold him upright, and then like, he was fine. He took off fine. But don't just throw him overboard. And if they're bleeding out of the gill, you got to keep them. Don't throw them back because they'll die. 